Rotarians and friends and guests. It's kind of hard to believe that we've already went a year from the last Rotary Citizen of the Year. Um, but this year, we do have someone uh, within the club who is very special to our club and very special to our community. She has almost single-handedly probably increased tourism in the town of Hicksville over the past going on 10 years. Um, Denise Suter, Christmas Cruise through. You are a Rotary Citizen of the Year. <laughs> Kitchen's ready. I guess we can start eating because Bruce isn't going to wait. So <laughs> uh, remember that next week. <laughs> well, I'm glad we pulled off the surprise, which was good, and it was fun to see your reaction. <laughs> um, the Expo Rotary Club has a long-standing tradition of honoring an individual or individuals who contributes greatly to our community. This year, honoree is the person responsible for the Christmas cruise through. It's a very special event here in Hicksville that will celebrate its 10th year this year in December. According to Denise's husband, for the first three years, every penny collected at the gate went directly to the fair board. The cost of operating the light show and purchasing the new lights was financed completely by Alliance Tax Services. I don't think that's something people in the community realized, and I know I didn't realize that either. So thank you for doing that. Interestingly, Denise's interest in the community service didn't begin with the cruise through. She has a long history of volunteering, beginning as a Girl Scout leader, becoming a swim judge, um, next involvement in the Defiance County 4-H program with an important role in fundraising for the new goat barn at the fairgrounds. And if you've been down there, it's a very nice goat barn. You guys did a lot of work for that, and it's very nice for the, for, for the fair. The 
Hexville Rotary Club is very fortunate to have Denise Suter as a member and equally as important as our treasurer. She does a super job of keeping track of the club's finances and each member's individual financial responsibilities. The club honors Denise for her contributions to the community and to the local Rotary Club. So we thank you. This is a very humble way of us reaching out to you and acknowledging everything you have done. And I wasn't joking when I said you increased tourism in our little town and you have made us known far and wide for everything you've done. Each year it gets bigger, each year it's improved, um, and I know it's your vision, your family's vision, your dad, Lindsay, Vince, your coworkers have put countless, countless hours in. And I know we see your Facebook posts, you know, asking for help from volunteers, you know, please help. And I know it takes a community to do it, but it also takes the one driving force in the community to pull off what she has done. And we appreciate it, and we acknowledge you for doing that. So again, congratulations, Denise. Thank you. I have some special guests here today. I'm not going to try to yeah. name all their names, but I will let you do that. And if any of you guys want to talk about anything fun about Denise <laughs> that we should know, any good stories about the Christmas cruise through or anything else, okay. um, feel free to share because this is our fun time. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to start with Gunner. Um, we brought him, Gunner Kaler, he, we brought him in from high school as an accountant um, intern, and it's a women's organization, so he's got a big challenge to work with us. And Mary Levy goes by Kate. Um, she just went on my boondoggle for two weeks with me, and we stayed in a kind of stogie wagon with five feet of snow on either side. Um, we got pulled over by the Border Patrol. It, like, it was a whole thing. It was crazy. We thought we were going to be taken away. I went to the airport with my mace and my knife in my hand, and at the last minute I realized it was there, threw it on the thing, and prayed they didn't take me away. Um, but anyway, thank you. And Shannon Stotler, she's, um, she's, she does my job. She, she makes me look great. She does everything all the time ahead of me, whether I think about it or I haven't thought about it. She's already thought about it and done it. Kathy Stotler, it, when, we took, when I took over Alliance from my partner, um, Kathy was the one that held the, the glue. She was the mature one when I was crying, not sure anything was gonna go right. She always had the faith in me and the faith in the um, community that, that you, you would support my accounting firm and I try really hard. Um, my father, Devon Werder, I, He's welded everything at the Christmas cruise through. You can imagine every single poinsettia, every single everything. I can't, I can't, I can't go through it all. It's, he's always been there for my supporter. He's the person fixing all the Girl Scout bikes on those trips, and never, never asked why my, why I was at the fairgrounds making out with a boy and my car broke down. He just came and saved the day and brought me home and never asked questions. You know, it was just that. My daughter, Lindsay, is my blood, my life, my whole world. Um, she is six months pregnant, bringing me my first grandbaby. I'm so proud of her. She's way smarter than I'll ever be, and I can't be in this world without her. Vince Suter, um, gosh, we've been married 31 years. Um, he's fantastic. He's perfect. I would change nothing about our marriage. Don't don't ever remind me that I just said that. <laughs> um, but no, he. When I say that I want um, this crazy thing at the Christmas cruise through, he never complains. He always steps up and he does it, and he, he never throws it back in my face if it fails. So I'm really proud of my world, and um, I'm so thankful to be honored this way. Um, even though I don't have a child in Hicksville High School, I feel like. My years in the Hicksville education is the reason I am who I am. The teachers were wonderful. The administration was wonderful. The opportunities were out there, and the opportunities were there because of the Rotary, and always making sure that the students had what we needed and the support that we needed. And without you guys, I would not be standing here right now. So thank you, thank you, thank you. as great as she said I am, but that's okay, I'll go with it. Um, <laughs> there's lots of, you know, you've read the, uh, the write-up, and 
it's, it's a really brief summary. In a nutshell, I mean, what you can see is a history of, of her volunteering and helping when needed. If something needs to be done, Denise steps up and helps get it done. You know, being a swimming judge was not easy. You had to go to train, you had to be certified, then you had to you know, volunteer your time to be a, a judge at all these meets. Instead of being with your, watching your kids <laughs> swim, you're off at the end of the, the lanes, judging other kids, making sure their turns are correct and all that. So I mean, just any one individual, one of these examples, requires a lot of work that's kind of hard to see unless you know all the details, unless you're personally involved. <laughs> so what you see is a history of, of her volunteering and picking up and, and getting things done when they need to be done. And so that's the reason why she's here today. But like she had said when she's after getting her rewards, you know, this guy did this, you did this, you helped. Well, she's always telling other people did the work. Well, actually, she's the one doing the core of the work. She's the one organizing and putting together so that other people like me, her dad, other people can, can actually help get the thing accomplished, get the job done. And one of the things that it isn't noted in the write-up was that initially when she wanted to do the light show after her mom had passed, she had gone to LaVon Wiles, who you know, was a fairgrounds keeper for ages, a fair board member for a long, long time. And she approached him about you know, doing a light show, Christmas show. And he, I think the thing he said to her was, I've been waiting for that one person to come to me and present this kind of a proposal, because he's been waiting for years to do something like that at the, uh, at the fairgrounds. And I know that you know, before he passed, he was super thrilled with how well things have come along, what had become of the event at the fairgrounds. And the thing that is also important to know is we have organizations like this. We have organizations like the churches here in town that supported the crews at the very beginning. I mean, initially, we really had almost no displays other than what we could put together from her family and then certain other people throwing a couple things in, her dad making some displays. And we had some churches that would come in, and they did really awesome displays. And that really helped us get off the ground at the beginning of the, the Christmas cruise through. And then, you know, through re investing everything you know, into the lights, it's become what it is now, but it really couldn't be done if it weren't for the volunteers and people that Denise works with that, that either come down and help with the light show or help cover her when she's down at the light show, working and volunteering, doing things uh, instead of being at work, and organize like this that help put up you know, money, funding, help support the, the crews through. Um, but there's lots of great stories, but I will give one good example, and that was if you've been to the show, you've noticed that on the grandstands, there's a big display. And uh, she's like, well, the next year what I want to do is I want to put some lights up on the grandstands and make that a display that you can see as you come around the far side of the light show. And you know, I'm thinking, well, I told her point blank, that will never work. No one's ever going to look across there and see that. Well, sure enough, the next year that turned out to be really popular display because I see people at the exit, I ask them the things that they like, and that came up a number of times where we were like the displays in the grandstands, and at that point I learned never doubt what she says, never <laughs> disagree with what she says, she knows way more about this than I do, and so that's the whole reason why some of the things that she's involved with do so well because she's a really good organizer and a really good leader, and I'm glad you guys you know, took the time out of your organization's day to you know, basically commemorate the, the effort that Denise has put in and help with the community and the people at large. Uh, thank you guys. I <laughs> that's all my time. So I have two but I want to go back to the high school where she was a majorette through the fire at night. I think that sparked her life. She just was phenomenal, but I dragged her all over, giving her lessons for years. And uh, she was very good, yeah, very good uh, twirler. So among her other accomplishments in high school, but it all comes down, she put her time in in, high, in Hicksville. So thank you very much. <laughs> Hicksville. My mom loves Hicksville. Um, there's lots of nights I wish that 
she was at my house playing cards, but she was at the Christmas cruise group, and um, she knows everybody. We go everywhere. We, we're chatting with everyone, and she really loves this town, and so I'm not surprised at all. I'm very proud of you, Mom. Thank you. Anybody else within the club have anything they, they want to share? Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really know Denise because I was in Rotary and she hadn't quite come in, but she took over for me as treasurer and doing a fantastic job, yeah, by the way. But uh, I don't know, it was a few years ago in the Christmas cruise through it started, and Mike says, Rotary needs to do a couple nights down there. So, so I said, okay, Mike, I said, I'll volunteer with you. So I go down there and they put us on the, between the barn, I don't know what they call that, crosswalk. crosswalk. And I'm thinking, this is crazy, but this one gal on this golf cart just keeps coming through, coming through. <laughs> Who is that lady? And Mike said, well, that's Denise. And I said, but she, you know, she kept, kept us in line. If somebody wasn't doing it right, she let us know. But uh, and then the other memory I got is, is the, before they put the turn lane in down by the fairgrounds, and I swear that's because of the Christmas cruise through. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seemed to me that uh, the town had to do something down there because when you brought the traffic in, it was just murder down there. So, yeah. So that's it. Uh, and then the other thing is, uh, I got Denise did my taxes, so I'm going to put a plug in for you. <laughs> she did a great job. Uh, and I'm in her office, and here's this cat. Yeah. And I says, says, what's this cat doing in the office? And then she says, well, that's our cat. That's Max. And I says, so I'm looking over here thinking there's going to be a plate for Max today. But there was no plate for Max. So anyway, I don't know there's more to that story, but I don't know the rest of it. But. Max was Steve Shock. Anybody that knows Steve Shock from Shock's Hardware, he was my classmate. And he was... Um, sleeping in his chair after a long day at work and his daughter was going to her homecoming and she was upstairs getting dressed. And he, they all came down and the friends came to the house to get group <coughs> pictures and they went over to wake Steve up and Steve was deceased. And so her homecoming night was shattered. Max had no home because they were gonna sell Shots Hardware. And they took Max to Steve, Tur or Tim Turnbull's house because he had offered to take care of Max. Max decided he wanted to go back to Shocks Hardware, which is crossing the viaduct, crossing High Street, all that jazz. So I said, I'll take Max in, and um, he will stay inside my shop. And I immediately got hate mail that said, no, Max is an outdoor cat. <laughs> that can't be. And I said, all right, I will make a shoot out my back window that opens up into a huge enclosure so if you ever want to know what it looks like, go behind my building. Because Max can go in and out all winter long, all summer long, mm -hmm. and be an outdoor cat, the way Steve Shock wanted Max to be. So he's still there. Yeah. And I really pushed to have the dancing raccoons here tonight. Did they, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I said, they said, nope, that would give it away. <laughs> I want to add to your story. I had to laugh because I got Paul Yoder on the hook <coughs> to come down and volunteer. And we had the most uh, <laughs> worst night of all 10 years. And it was a gully washer, a typhoon. It was freezing. And there they two stood out in a pouring rain doing the crosswalk. Well, that's funny because Denise says, they got to walk right through here. they got to walk right through there. Well, the water got about that deep <laughs> there. So then they started going around. And I think they would come back and say, well, we don't let them go around. <laughs> So anyway, that's that's my story to Denise. I don't know if anybody else has something they'd like to share or not. But. I will also add to his baton twirling. I taught her, his daughter in their home to twirl the baton. She was a beautiful young lady, and I had a blast. They had the coolest indoor uh, full-size basketball court to twirl baton in. And we hit every one of those ceiling tiles with that baton, and old Barry never said that. Did you ever do the fire thing? Not in his garage, but I did at football games. Okay, cool. Thank you. Everybody go back to work now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, had something, I had something, Larry. Yes. Um, go ahead, Mike. Well-deserved, Denise. Thank you. 
Um, something that I've seen at work in Cruiser, Cruiser D, everybody says thank you when you walk when they leave. You know, we've had a chance to work the gates, like I said, the crosswalks, and they thank us. I said it's not us; it's it's the volunteers that are down there, hundreds of hours. You know, we help a couple hours here and there. Um, but it's always funny. I always tell people when they're coming in because they have to wait in line sometimes and be patient, and there's you know flow of people trying to get through. They're always kind of grumpy, or they're not happy, or you see they they've got like issues going on with them and the kids are in the car and they're jumping around you guys all see this you know and they, they're pulling yeah merry christmas enjoy the show yeah yeah and they keep driving whatever they're going. when they walk when they drive out they're smiling you see joy and love you know that's what you give back to people so thank you and, and this year you're talking about how to use them them all <laughs> Yeah, um, they are active. I, I signed us up for Venmo to try to stay, uh, you know, ahead of the game. And I went over to him and I said, you know, it's all for Venmo. And he said, okay, I will. Okay. So we walked up to the first car and he says, I've been told we have VRBO here, <laughs> <laughs> which is vacation rental by owner. <laughs> Oh, we are having ice skating this coming year. Are we? That's the first in Hicksville. Can I run the Zamboni? You can do the Zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, can I spell it? I can't spell it. Starts with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Thanks, everybody. I really, really appreciate this. It made now, my whole. Next thing on the list, I don't know what it is, Eric. Nobody else wants to talk. But award presentation. So, you want to explain that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of on a funny note, but not really funny. Um, your award for right now, for this oh. hour, is going to be this, oh, uh, which this. is a very Christmassy award. Um, your award is delayed, but it's supposed to be arriving now this afternoon. Oh, that's so. fantastic. <laughs> I don't know who did all the Christmas decorations and stuff, but thank you. We didn't know if that was given away. When you no, I didn't even notice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is awesome. I guess if that is all we have today, again, congratulations. It was super well deserved. It was a fun afternoon, fun lunchtime. And with that, I guess we will conclude with the pledge. <laughs>